This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This video is going to look at how to construct and draw a nice topographic map using contour lines and elevations on the diagram given. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to construct a topographic map using contour lines on a diagram that has certain elevations already put down for you and certain features on the landscape that are also put down. So in this diagram, we have a ocean in the northern part because I can see the compass and see where north is pointed. So the northern part of the diagram or location or landscape is going to be an ocean and you have these two darkened lines going through the map which are going to be rivers. We can see the outline of a river delta as it enters the ocean in the middle, top middle of the diagram. So you have all these elevations across the diagram ranging in elevation height from 5 up to 170, 177. This is in feet. And we have the contour line on the outside of the diagram already listed for you. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. So we don't have 180 because the, the elevation does not allow for 180. So we have these contour lines that you have to draw and put into the map uh, using a pencil and figure out where these contour lines go based on elevation and the rules that govern contour lines and what they are showing on the landscape. So I'm choosing a couple of these contour lines to start and show you what you have to do and how you can draw these contour lines onto this kind of blank diagram. So I'm looking at just the elevation. So I'm starting with 20 and I've got to find out where 20 elevation is on the map given. So I'm looking at the points elevation given or on the map. There's 16, there's 22 and 21 and 39 and figuring out where does 20 lie or be is positioned according to the other elevations given. So there's some areas that are too low 20 doesn't fit or too high so towards the northern part with the lower elevations doesn't fit so I've got to find a line where 20 fits and you can tell because in between each elevation there are numbers and you see where 20 fits now obviously I'm showing that the lower elevations won't work there's 10 and 25 so in between 10 and 25 that's where I'm going to find my elevation 20 now to the further south which is a bit higher elevation 21 25 I'm showing that it can't go that way because it's too high and then when it goes over the river the rule is that you're going to show the direction of the river flow with a little V as it goes over the river so the, the point of the V shows you the direction of the river so the next contour line is going to be 140 feet now again, looking at where this lies based on the elevation given around it. So to figure out where that contour line is going to go, the direction, basically following the contour of the land or surface or the relief is find where 140 is between the numbers given. So 119 to 150. I'm looking at 140 being closer to 150 and then drawing that, basically connect the dots and draw that contour line again. Figuring out can't go further north because it's too low elevation or further south because again towards the, uh, the summit of the hill given and it's too low so we're going again going this way past 135 and under 152 based on the elevation numbers given and trying to figure out the direction of that contour line 140. So again these are just the starting points for you to carry on and complete the whole map. So the last elevation or contour line I'm going to basically draw for you in this demonstration uh, based on this certain relief and landscape is elevation 60 feet, the contour line 60 feet. And again, you're going to see based on the elevation points given on our map where 60 lies on or in between the numbers shown. So between 39 and 61, obviously contour line 60 goes in between 39 and 61, but closer to 61. And then again, close to 65, between 11 and 65. So it's gonna go in this direction, following the contour of 60 feet. So then, um, then we can carry on this contour line again through the diagram, under 85, above 50, and past 48 and 72, which is down there. And then across again, 
But wait, I made a mistake. I've gone too far and it's basically too high of elevation. So I have to basically backtrack what I'm doing, which is why we use pencil, which is fine, and just erase and then re-sketch where that contour line has to go, which is between 76 and the 40s over the river again, which is showing you that V, which is showing you the direction of river, flow, water flow, again, downhill with the gradient with, with gravity, and again, connecting to the other 60 elevation contour line on the left-hand side of the diagram. So again, this can be connected and we can, once we have all the contour lines drawn in, we can then see where the steepness is on the map and where other features are geographically.